Yo, what's good? <clears throat> this is Gary Swaby, and you're watching some gameplay I got in the background, but really this video is all about battle rap, and I'm going to start doing these um, little videos over gameplay, because that's what we do here at the Coalition. So if you don't like it, then, you know, you can just look away from the screen and just listen to what I got to say, because, you know, I'm going to be chopping up about this battle rap. So earlier this week, the URL dropped their double impact card, um, which is, you know, this um, this card is basically all about two on two matches. So, you know, I mean, I, I, I've got I've got some, you know, mixed thoughts on this. So I thought, you know, I need to get these thoughts out on a video and talk about this card because a lot of people are hyping it up. But I have my own opinions on this. So let's get into it. Right, so the card is, uh, I guess, I'm not sure if this is the main event or not, I assume it's the main event, but you got DNA and K-Shine versus Sue Surf and Tay Rock. Now this battle makes sense because, you know, K-Shine and DNA have kind of brought back this whole trend of 2 on 2 battles and they've made it popular. Um, two on two battles did exist before, you know, with the um, the World Rap Championships and all that stuff. You know, Ilmac and Thesaurus, all those kind of guys. You know, they all did two on twos back in the day. It was still popular in the grind time era as well. But in this era, it kind of took a backseat, and DNA and K Shine kind of brought it back a little bit. They made it trendy again, and um, you know, K Shine has this beef going on with Dot Mob. Because uh, he left Dot Mob, and you know he's got tension with Tay Rock, so this battle makes sense, you know. And everyone in this battle has battled each other, like even even DNA and K Shine and Surf and Tay Rock, they battled each other, and they battled you know both their opponents. So like every single person in this battle has battled each other, so it makes the makes this battle really interesting to to see. Now DNA and K Shine are proven as a team. You know, as a two-on-two team, we've seen them. You know, against Verb and Hitman, against uh, Marvin Quest, against uh, John John and Sire Boy. Uh, we've we've seen them do a lot of two-on-twos over the past year, and they've done great in all of them. You know, they haven't slipped up. They, you know, well, I mean, they've had a, a few incidents here and there, but DNA's freestyle ability usually um, saves the team in you know those tough situations so they've got great chemistry together dna and k-shine um and we haven't seen sue surf and tay rock together battle together as a team you know we saw them battle each other last year we haven't seen them as a team before and see this is what worries me about this card as a whole because a lot of these teams are just put together i mean some of there's a few of them that have battled together already but a lot of them, for the most part, are just put together. And I worry that, you know, they won't practice enough or they won't have enough chemistry or they'll forget their lines and choke because I feel like it's easier to forget where you were in a two-on-two -two because, you know, you, you're you listening to your partner rap and then you got to remember where to jump in and what you're supposed to say. You can easily probably say the, the wrong thing. So some people might see it as easier. Some people might see it as more difficult you know, in a two on two. And I feel like we, we might see a lot of slip ups on this card, to be honest with you. Like, uh, cause these teams are just so put together. I feel like we're going to see a lot of chokes, a lot of slip ups. Um, and that's the main thing I'm worried about. But this battle, battle in particular is hard to judge or predict, you know, what will happen because we haven't seen Sue Surf and Tay Rock. They're obviously big names in battle rap, but being a big name doesn't just mean that you can team up with someone and, you know, have crazy chemistry. I mean, these guys have egos at the end of the day, so their ego might get in the way of them having good chemistry. So we just got to see what happens with that one. But, I mean, my gut right now is telling me to go with DNA and K-Shine as my prediction because we've seen what they can do already. So DNA and K-Shine, I'll go with them. Even though I'm a huge Tay Rock fan, but I can't, you know, I can't bet on him being good with Sue Surf. Um, so also on the card we have Chilla Jones and B Magic versus T Top and Briz Rawstein. 
Now, this is a very, it, like, I found this to be a very random match. Like, um, I mean, not as random as some of the others, but, um, I mean, you know, Chilla Jones and B-Magic, they're from writer's block. So, fair enough, I understand that. And T-Top and Briz, you know, they're real cool with each other. They come from the same, you know, the same city or whatever. So, I, you know, I understand that, I guess. But, you know, it's just... Battle comes from nowhere. It's like, why? Okay, I, I guess they were thinking, oh, let's let's get writer's block on this card and put them against someone. And I guess that's how the battle came about. But Chilla Jones and B-Magic, I mean... B Magic was in my top five for a long time. Chiller Jones is in my top five. These guys are both great writers, but are they going to be good together as a team? Chiller Jones, you know, he's uh, he's more slow with the schemes and everything. B Magic is a fast-paced puncher. He does the back-to-back punchlines and everything. So, are they are they going to be able to create the perfect contrast? Are they going to be able to make it flow correctly? Um, I feel like Chilla Jones might have to do a lot of the setups and then, you know, Magic will probably have to step in with the with the hard haymaker punchlines every now and then. I feel like that's how, you know, they could work together as a team. Um, but, I mean, I guess we'll see. Um, T-Top and Briz, I think maybe they make a better team. I think they make a better match than Chilla and B-Magic just because, you know, they both... They're both fairly high energy, you know, they talk that harsh street shit. Um, Briz, you know, he's more of a horrorcore type rapper. And T-Top, you know, he spits that street shit. He does it in a creative fashion. So, you know, I feel like they can do they can do some, some slick shit, I think, and pull the win off. But, you know, I mean, I feel like Chilla and B-Magic have to work together a lot more to, to create something that's going to grip and catch the crowd. Because um, although they're amazing writers, I mean, they have to put it together and putting together all those like layers of bars like and, and making it fit with their performance is going to be a challenge, I think. So we got to wait and see. I mean, deep down, I'm rooting for Chilla Jones and B-Magic because they are some of my favorites in terms of battle rap. But I just feel like they got their work cut out for them in this battle. Charlie Clips and John John the Don versus Big T and the Saga. Now, Big T and the Saga makes sense because they are NWX, you know, with DNA and K Shine and Rain, you know, they all make up NWX. So, you know, Big T and the Saga teaming up does make sense. But I don't know how they'll perform together. You know, I'm interested in seeing that. Um, Charlie Clips and John John. Now, I would have preferred Charlie Clips and Goods because those two, like, if anybody's ever seen blogs where Charlie Clips and Goods are together, those blogs are the funniest. It's the funniest shit in the world. Like, these two are damn near comedians. And even when they battle, they're, they're hilarious as well. So, I feel like if you if you made those two into a team, that would just be incredible. But I don't know, I guess Goods didn't want to do it or something, or, you know, I don't know. I don't know why they didn't book Charlie Clips and Goods. But Charlie Clips and John John, I, I just don't know. This, this It feels thrown together to me. Like, why Charlie Clips and John John? Okay, I know they're probably cool behind the scenes and everything, but why? Like, uh, it's, it's not particularly something I want to see. I don't want to see Charlie Clips teaming up with John John the Don. Like, it, it, it just... It seems weird. I, I mean, I'd rather see Charlie Clips team up with either DNA or Goods because I know for a fact that the chemistry is already there because these guys literally hang out with each other like every day in the streets. So, um, and I think DNA and Kate, um, Charlie Clips damn near live together or they used to live together. So, I feel like you know, I, I just don't know how the chemistry is going to be with these two. So that match, I really have... I, I don't know how it's going to turn out. I don't have a prediction for that matchup. I just got to wait and see what happens, to be honest with you. Um. Okay, Chess and Steams versus Marv1 and Quest McCody. Now, this matchup, we've seen both teams before. You know, we've seen Chess and Steams versus DNA and K-Shine. 
and we've seen Marv 1 and Quest battle a lot of people in 2 on 2s because they were in the World Rap Championships. They battled the Thesaurus and um, Ilmac, you know, uh, in a championship final matchup, I think. <coughs> Excuse me. So, yeah, I mean, both teams are kind of proven. Um, I'm not the greatest fan of Steam's. Chess is incredible. Like, he's, you know, he's like... 16, 17, 18 years old or something and he's just like he's one of the he's the MVP in battle rap right now like he he goes stupid in battles but Steams I feel like holds him back a little bit like in those 2 on 2s they had last year they didn't they didn't have as much chemistry as DNA and K-Shine did and um, I think Steams slipped up a couple times and it just it wasn't great to watch really um, but I'm sure they could have improved by now. And um, Marv One and Quest McCody, they're proven. You know, they, these guys are championship material. They're legends, pretty much, in battle rap. So, you know, I've got Marv One and Quest just because, you know, just because, like, I've seen them come up in the World Rap Championships. I've seen them in Grind Time, seen them in King of the Dot. I've seen them in damn near every league there is. So. I'm going with those two, man, because they have they're mo they're going to be the most polished like out of the you know these two on two teams I think because they've been through it and they're comfortable doing this so I'm going to give them the win on that one. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm very sick at the moment, so I apologize. Okay, so the big reveal and you know in this matchup there's two big comebacks as well. So, Math Hoffa and Cortez versus Averb and Young Ill. Crazy, crazy matchup right there. This is Math Hoffa's return to the URL after being banned, like, what was it, three years ago or something? When he punched Sirius Jones. So, this is his big comeback to the URL. And Cortez, you know, we've seen Math Hoffa and Cortez previously against DNA and K Shine. Which was a decent two on two, but I feel like it got a bit corny towards the end. But it was it was decent, you know. They were a good team. And you know, you got Averb and Young Ill. Now, Young Ill, we've wanted to see this guy make a comeback for a long time. He did kind of come back to the URL after his hiatus, but it wasn't the same ill. But now, you know, he's been on a few radio shows, shouts to the war report. Shouts to Three Letter Man. You know, he's been on his show kind of, you know, he, and he's been basically talking about how focused he is right now. And we're going to see Young Ill, the Young Ill that we know from the past. You know, that's the Young Ill we're going to see. And if he's teamed up with Averb, I kind of believe him because Verb will push him to be that ill, you know, to be that Young Ill that we know. Because Verb ain't no slouch himself. Sure, Verb does bullshit every now and then in, in his battles. Like, there's battles where he doesn't come as hard. Pause, no homo. But, you know, Averb is Averb. He's a legend of St. Louis at the end of the day. So, you know, you got to give him his just due. you got to give Math his just due and Cortez. Cortez is one of the, the most underrated lyrical rappers out there. You know, people underrate him like crazy. I also can't wait to see his battle against Chilla Jones, which is on the um, Born Legacy card. So, you know, I'm, I'm excited for this matchup. I feel, I feel like it could be very entertaining. I just hope that Verb and Young Ill have that chemistry. I'm sure they do, because, you know, if you watch Verb and Hitman versus DNA and K-Shine, Verb and Hitman had great chemistry. So, you know, this is a St. Louis thing. And these guys actually have time to practice together because they live in St. Louis. Same thing with Math and Cortez. They're both from Brooklyn. So I'm pretty sure, you know, they're both chilling at the crib, practicing. So I feel like they're gonna they're all gonna have that chemistry. And that's what matters. So yeah, that's my rundown of the card. Um I mean when I first saw the card, I, I just felt like a lot of these matches were just put together and didn't make much sense. Some of the teams are just put together, but you know, I guess there was some logical thinking behind it. I'm just I'm just scared of how it's going to turn out, to be honest with you. 
I feel like, you know, we're going to see a lot of chokes, a lot of slip-ups. Um, hopefully, these guys prove me wrong, though. So, we'll just have to wait and see. But, yeah, that's my thoughts on it. Um, let me know what you guys think of the card in the comments. And, um, hopefully, I'll be dropping more of these videos with my thoughts on, you know, different battles and battle rap-related news and stuff like that. For now, I'm out. Peace.